Hey everyone, in today's video I am going to be sharing my haul from Max Bloggers Obsession Collection. I was so excited about this because it was beauty bloggers that they chose to um, send them the inspiration for a potential eyeshadow or a lip glass and you know there was a group and they selected a few and that's how they came up with the collection and um, I picked up some of the collection, not everything. Um, and the first one I'm going to talk about is the one that I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing it on my lids. And it's called Sparkle Neely Sparkle. Okay. And um, it's a warm brown with gold shimmers in it. And it's a velvet texture. And when I saw that it was a velvet texture, I was afraid. Because the velvets that I have in my collection are horrible you know you don't really get that much pigment they don't blend very well but I'm wearing it right now and it actually worked so I'm excited because the inspiration for this um, was like my favorite out of all of them and it's inspired by this book one of my I guess my second favorite book ever Valley of the Dolls okay by Jacqueline Susan I love this book. It was written a long time ago, I think in the 60s. Mm, I wish I could remember when it was set. But it's just one of those things that, you know, was written so long ago, yet still relevant today. And I'm just trying to get to the page where I can see. Yeah, 1966. That was right, 60s. Um so good such a guilty pleasure book I'm not gonna lie and it just reminds me of Lindsay Lohan so much um so yeah it's like about this like you know small town girl um she's from Pennsylvania and she comes to New York City and um she becomes famous and just dealing with the fame you know like the it's the rise and the fall so um things that we still see today with many celebrities and it's just so good so good I mean you have to read it if you like that kind of stuff girly um, guilty pleasure books it's so good so yeah um, Neely is one of the characters in the book and um, I guess she also kind of has a rise and a fall I have to reread it it's so good that I want to reread it now but yes it's um, one of the characters in the book is Neely so sparkle Neely sparkle definitely sparkly very pretty I'm wearing it right now and um, oh uh, the blogger who um, came up with the shadow is Amber Katz from Beauty Blogging Junkie and I'll post the links to the blogs of the respective items that I got uh, so you guys can check it out if you're interested if you haven't um, seen it already um, I also picked up Hocus Pocus which is a really pretty um, silvery gray color. It's a very like deep gray with some silver shimmers to it. And I'll just swatch this. And I'll have swatches on my blog because I know how it is with these videos. They just wash everything out. So that's Sparkle Nearly Sparkle. Maybe you can see a little bit of it. Um, it's very fine. So um, you probably can't see it on my eyes on camera, but in person it's very subtle. Um, and you have to be careful when applying it so that you don't get much fallout. And then Hocus Pocus, um, it's a blog that I haven't read before. It's by The Makeup Girl. So, there it is. Uh, then the next one is called Parisian Skies. And it's by Lipstick, Powder, and Paint. So here it is, and this one is a really pretty, um, kind of a pale blue color. Not pale. I can't think. I'm thinking about slate, but it's not slate. It's definitely blue. Um, so here it is. Um, I, this one doesn't have any shimmer to it. It's very soft, um, so it would definitely be easy to blend. And then this um, shadow, I'm obsessed with this blog. I mean, if you are into makeup and you haven't discovered Temptalia, I don't know where you've been because 
that's where I get all my news on all the latest collections. I see her swatches and it really helps me narrow down my choices before I go to the store and go crazy. Uh, even though I still go crazy, but it really helps me um, make my decisions ahead of time. Or if I can't get to the store and I need to order online, I can go based off of what she shows us. So um, this is her creation and it's called Jealousy Wakes. Velux Pearl! Holler! I love Velux Pearls. They are just amazing to blend and to work with. So I'm really glad that this bright green, which is a which greens I don't really wear that often, um, and I should because I have um, olive skin, so it would definitely bring that out. Um, it is just so pretty, and here it is. It's a really pretty green. A uh, very subtle shimmer, but I can't, <laughs> I can see the shimmer in here. Um, what does she say? Teal and gold pearl um, is the description. So there they are. And then I only got one of the lip glasses because I haven't really been wearing lip gloss that much that um, anymore um, so I haven't really been buying lip glasses but I got this one because it would just be gorgeous on deep skin um, it's called all of my purple life and it's by Afrobella and um, it's just so pretty and purple is her favorite color uh, so that was her inspiration it's just such a pretty purple uh, so yeah, I'll just do a little swatch very delicately, but it is very intense, so it would definitely work well if you have um, dark skin. It's going to look beautiful. Um, so I picked that up, um, and I didn't get the rest of the lip glasses again. I just haven't been wearing them that much, so I didn't want to get them. Um, but, um, I do read Nitrolicious, again, one of those things I look at every day, and, um, she did a red lip glass, um, so that was nice, and then I also read Makeup and Beauty blog, and she did one called Evolution Revolution, and that was a peachy pink, I'm reading the descriptions online right now, um, then the shades of you... This is some. This is a new blog to me. Um, she did a color called Sonoran Rain, and that's um, a corally red color. Uh, and then Beauty Maverick. I've heard of that blog, but again, new to me um, in terms of reading it. And she did a color called Khaki, and it's an orange uh, lip gloss. Uh, my favorite eyeshadows. I have to pick two of them would be Sparkle, Neely Sparkle, and Jealousy Wakes. Those are my two favorite because I have things that are similar to this a little bit. You know, I have blues and I have, you know, those deep gray colors. So, um, but I had to get it anyway to support, support the bloggers. Okay, so I was, I was really excited about it. So, um, if you guys have any questions, um, if you want to share um, your purchases and what you thought of them, uh, let us know in a comment below the video, and I'm on Twitter, at DRBrooklyn730, uh, so if you're on Twitter, you can follow me there. I'm on Tumblr, I have a blog, Musings of a City Girl, where I will post the swatches. I already did the swatches, so I know they'll be up. Uh, swatches will be up. Uh, where else am I? Oh, new Facebook, yes. I should do this at the beginning of the video because who's going to stick around till the end? Um, if you're here, awesome. I love you so much. Um, yes. We freaking keep forgetting to mention the Facebook page. New Facebook page. So if you're on the old one, that one's gone. New Facebook page. The link will be below. So if you want, if you're on Facebook, you know, you can follow me there. And I've been, every time I post... On my blog or on YouTube, I've been good so far with posting it on my Facebook page. So, good things, good things happening, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.